Yeah, definitely honoring that suffering is is something. And you know, I find I have to sometimes I have to stop myself from pointing out their suffering because I work with a few people like that. And the reason I I pull myself up from not even addressing it is I realize that that's part of their journey, that they haven't suffered enough yet to let it go. So me trying to tell them otherwise and insisting on telling them otherwise is wasting their time and mine because there is a path they have to take. It doesn't mean I'll let someone fall in a ditch, but if we've had a conversation three, four, five times and the outcome is always the same and you insist on doing what it is you've been doing, please be my guest because I cannot shortcut it for you until you're ready to go okay. And sometimes people say to me, oh, Papa, you're so, you're so like tough and so cutthroat. Like you can still keep doing it. I'm like, yeah, but to what avail? I've known this person for four years. And in the four years, despite telling them your job is never going to love you back, don't work, don't be here at 6.30 and live at 6.30 and think that that's a good thing. No one says thank you for the work. The same person, you know, you, you talk and they're having the same drama and you say to them, but that's not what you should be doing, you know, maybe don't just cut it off like this and like that. So now I'm just like, oh, okay, are you okay though? Yeah, I'll be good. Do you want a coffee? Yes. Oh, let's go. We'll do coffee. We'll leave all the other things because you are still attached to your misery. There is no shortcutting it until mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you're ready to put the burden down. You won't hear a thing anyone says. So for me, that's wisdom because for the longest time, I, I try to intervene to help. Doesn't work. 